Welcome back to another running video. Today is 5007 of the running streak that I'm documenting. It's also the end of the week. So this is now 37 weeks in a row that I've stayed above 30 miles for the week. And that's where I like to stay. I like to stay above 30. I want to average 30 miles a week, 32 miles a week, somewhere in there. It's been very cold. Um, single digits. Today's a lot warmer. It's probably 20. But it's been in the single digits for a few days now. Eight, five, when I got up to run. So I got a text from my friend EJ. He said, uh, how do you run in the cold? I said, well, I'm used to it. I've been doing it for 40 years. He said, well, give me your top five tips for running in the cold weather. I said, okay, I'll think about it. So I thought back to high school when I was uh, running cross country. And we had a very cold day. It was single digits. And back in high school, you know, you're a high school kid, you're a kid, you barely wear any clothes. I wore like a sweatshirt and nylon running shorts. And that's what I pretty much wore all winter. I never dressed like I am now with all this gear on. So about four miles into the run, I started to really have a pain in my groin, my privates. I was like, what is this? What? It's like a sharp pain. It was terrible. It was very painful. It wasn't a pain like getting kicked in the groin. It was a... Uh, sharp pain so I was like oh man I must be it's cold so I didn't know what to do I was too far from the school so I was wearing mittens luckily so I took took one of the mittens off and I put it down my pants to kind of keep that area warm and then I just put my sleeve over my bare hand and then switched back and forth with the one remaining mitten to keep my hands warm to get back to the school. But then, you know, I looked into it and I read up on it and it's pretty dangerous to let your privates get cold. So I learned my lesson that day, I never had it again, but in the future, you, know, you keep that area warm, wear sweatpants or wear something under your, you know, tights or leggings or something, wear under your shorts so you don't get your your bits all damaged. I guess it's very painful because obviously there's a lot of nerve endings down there. So number one, dress in layers, which everybody will tell you what to do when it's cold out. But my tip is dress in dissimilar layers. So don't wear like three layers of cotton. I like to wear fleece, dry fit, cotton, sometimes like a plastic uh, windbreaker type thing. So different types of layers of different materials will keep you warmer. I, w I always wear the dry fit at the bottom layer because it wicks the moisture away from your skin. And there's nothing worse than being out in the cold and having a cold, wet shirt against your skin. Now, that really cools you off. That's cold. Second tip is protect your extremities. Like I just said, protect your bits, your naughty bits. That's very important. Protect your ears. I like to wear fleece. It's better than cotton or wool. Keep your ears warm. And of course, I always wear mittens or gloves. To keep my hands warm. That's tip uh, number two. Tip number three. Go out fast. If you're going to go running in the cold, I always recommend to people go out a little bit faster because the tendency is when you're cold, you kind of huddle up and you take shorter steps and you run a little bit slower. And it'll take longer for you to warm up and you also won't get as good a workout because you're running slow. So go a little bit faster or push the pace a little bit at the beginning, I like to do, and you end up running probably what you would normally run on a warm day and also it'll loosen you up you won't have your shoulders all hunched over you won't be running like this with little bitty steps and then you'll warm up your body will feel better and you'll get a better workout overall 
that's tip three. Tip four, I think is important for me, is to run local. Don't run into any remote areas. I like to run in the woods. As you see, I'm on my running trail now. And it's pretty close to civilization. So it's not too bad. There's houses back there. But don't run on a road that nobody goes down. Don't run too far away from where you can get back because if it's single digits like it's been this week and you turn your ankle in the woods or you fall and you can't get out, you can get in some serious trouble with hypothermia if you can't get to civilization and somebody to get to you um, in time. So the, clo the colder it is, the closer I like to stay to home or to where I could get to a busy road in case something happens. Because it does happen. I've fallen and I've twisted my ankle and, you know, skinned myself up pretty bad where I, I was in bad shape. And you don't want to be far from civilization. So those are my five tips for running in the cold. EJ and... We'll see you on the next video.